This is the sixth year doing the Miller Gallery Artists in Residence. Every year we invite an artist to come to Kutztown University to create a site-specific work for the Miller Gallery in the Sheridan Art Building. They come for three weeks and we give them an award of $7,500. We get applicants from all over the world um, in all types of mediums, from sculptors to video to craft to performance. So every year we have something very different that the students get to experience. This year the gallery committee chose Michael Cavello's proposal for the artist in residence. Um, Michael's work is really different than anything that we've really seen proposed before. Um, it's very painting based, which we usually don't get a lot of applicants in that. And we thought it was really touching on a lot of trends that are happening in the modern art world. Um, his colors are very bright, um, his pattern, his uh, method of applying things directly to the wall was really different than anything we'd seen and we really thought it would challenge the students to think a little bit differently about the way they pr approach their own work. I found out I was selected as the artist in residence here in August of 2014 and so I spent a f the, the first few months just working in my studio preparing paintings. I made about 30, maybe you know, 30 plus paintings. Um, and then the rest of the time I just compiled raw materials that I knew I wanted to work with. And so when January 2015 came around, I loaded up a big old moving truck filled with, you know, just studio materials and paintings and came up here to Cutstown and started my work. So I knew I wanted to work with these movable walls. It's sort of like a fantastic component to the space that you have this architecture that's in flux. And I also knew that I wanted to work with the, um, the wall architecture, it has these pillars that run through the space like a heartbeat that offered cadence. So I knew I could use that um, to my advantage to give this nice temporal quality to the painting. So throughout the course of the installation, I worked with more than 20 students and you know they helped me throughout the entire process from you know, simple mundane things to complex things to you know down and dirty painting. And you know, I had, I had students cutting out intricate webs of tape that we would mask to the wall with X-Acto knives and I had students um, engineering large-scale sculptural components that were going in the center of the space. I've had students um, just you know, help me paint the walls and basically ruin all their clothing along the way. And I was uh, really impressed not only with their capabilities but also with the level of commitment they showed because they wholeheartedly believed in what I was doing here and helped me execute it. I had planned on working a lot in, with the artists in residence this semester but I didn't expect to be as involved as I was and feel as committed to Mike's project. He was so welcoming and really listened and got to know each and every person. He would critique our work and hang out with us outside of the installation and that was really special to feel that I really got to know him as a person as well as an artist. From this experience I learned that there's a lot more than just putting a painting on a wall in a gallery space. There's a lot that went into this installation from the way the environment was utilized, the walls were set up, and just creating this space that you could walk through and really experience the work. Something that I really appreciated through this was the process and the specific materials that he used. I specifically used tape in my own work, and something that Mike really liked to put in his work was these hard lines and a lot of free-flowing geometric shapes. So it's really reassuring knowing that this type of work can be made and is being shown in galleries today and can give me a little bit of insight for what's actually going on in the art world today. I think the artist in residence program that the Miller Gallery offers is a really important part of the programming at Kutztown University. This is a rare opportunity for students to work alongside a professional artist for a longer period of time. Usually artists will come and do a demo for one day and do a lecture, but this is really a time where the students can get to know a working professional artist and it really has a big impact on their lives and their work. I want people to come in here and sort of be overwhelmed by the experience of painting and just get lost in the colors and textures and gestures and marks and I'm also interested in recontextualizing what paintings can be and how they can be experienced. I think Michael Cavello is really onto something here and I think you're going to see him showing up in museums and galleries all up and down the East Coast in the future. His work is really on the cutting edge, I feel like, and it's so great that we were able to bring him to Kutztown University and I think it was so great for his career at this time in his life as well. The Miller Gallery is in the Sheridan Art Building at Kutztown University and we're always free and open to the public. We're open during the week from 10 to 4 and we also have weekend hours. And Michael's exhibit is open until March 8th, and we would love for everyone to come and experience it for themselves.